Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to connect Fitbit to Strava. So this will work on any device that you're using, whether you're on a computer, iPhone, iPad, Android, wherever it is, it's going to be the same process throughout. Because you're not going to be using the Strava or Fitbit apps, you're going to want to go and open your web browser, whether that's Safari, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, you're going to want to type in strava.fitbit.com. That is the... Uh, the link that you want to follow right there so you can type it in google as well all there is a link in the description below to that page you can click there if you want to and then it's going to bring you to this page right here then what you're going to want to do you can read that but what you're going to want to do is click connect here uh, to get to the next step then it's going to uh, bring up the strava.com page then you're going to want to log in uh, with your email so make sure you do know your email uh, for this type in the email that you have for your strava account that you want to link and then type in your password as well i won't be showing my password and uh and uh, email on screen, of course, that's, that's uh, going to be covered up, but I am typing it in right now. So type in the email and password, then click login, and then you can choose whether you want to remember it or not. That's up to you. I'm just going to click not now. And it's going to get to the authorize. Uh, you're going to want to click the authorize button. You can choose whether you want to tick those boxes or not. That's up to you. Uh, but you just want to click authorize to get to the next step. And then it's going to go to the fitbit.com uh, accounts website right here. And then you're going to want to uh, make sure you've got your email and password again, but this time for your Fitbit account. So make sure, it's most likely you probably got the same one potentially, but uh, if not, uh, make sure if you do different pass different accounts, you get the right one for this, uh, like I do right here. Uh, I'm typing the email and password again, I'm not showing it, but I'm just putting it in right here. And then once that's done, click login, choose whether to save your password or not, it's up to you again. And then you've got these things here saying that we like tick boxes, what you want to allow or not. You can go through and tick whichever ones that you want, allow or whatever. The beta so basically you want to click that uh, pink allow button there. Uh, that's going to get you to the next step, uh, where, wherever like tick boxes you choose to click. That's going to come up there. And then you're going to see it says fit rest drive and it's going to tell you how it works. Then all you've got to do is click OK, got it to get to the next step. And then uh, pretty much uh, once you get to uh, this page right here, as you're going to see come up this Fitbit.com page, you will know your account has been connected. Uh, so that's pretty much the end of the step there. So if, you, if this did help you out and you're going to go do this, leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more how-to videos on Fitbit and Strava and more videos. Subscribe. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.